The international spotlight is on San Diego's ties to terrorism after a former City College student was killed while fighting for ISIS. Team 10 examined why San Diego is such a hotbed for this type of activity, and investigator Melissa Masiha discovered much of it may have to do with the military. He attended school in San Diego, even played basketball on our local courts. But Douglas McCain traveled to Syria and was fighting alongside ISIS when he was killed. Terrorism expert Glenn Wynn said he's not the only one. We know from our history and from what we're being told from various government agencies that uh, we may have hundreds of these people are in an overseas location. Team 10 first broke the story that two 9-11 hijackers trained here in San Diego. And then there was this man, Anwar al-Awlaki, an imam at this La Mesa mosque between 1996 and 2000. He was behind two failed terror plots against the U.S. before he was killed in a 2011 drone strike. San Diego ranks fourth when it comes to known or suspected terrorists, according to this classified government document obtained by the website The Intercept. Wynn believes part of that is due to the military being a target. I.e. the U.S. Navy and its ships. The classified document also shows there are 680,000 people on the watch list, but reasons behind the expanding list are unclear. Another terrorism expert, Ron B., says that's likely intentional. That's like handing someone a road map. He believes travel plans are closely watched and that could play a role. Wynn said there's a common factor between the cities that rank in the top five, a population already in those cities to assist if needed. There is a uh, colony already in existence that they can go to to uh, get sympathy, money, food, housing, and uh, somebody that might just blend, try and blend them into uh, society. Melissa Masiha, Team 10.